Lighting isn't always ideal. It's not just for influencers. Normal people take photos too. Not to say that influencers are not normal people. I'm digging myself a hole here. Hey everyone, and welcome to my longest running series on my YouTube channel. Now, my YouTube channel will be 13 years old in July, and every month I do a roundup of my personal monthly favorites that's separate from the best sellers of the previous month. So today, we're talking about May favorites, and that includes favorites from beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle. Let's start with beauty. I'm gonna start with my lip combo of the month, and I'm gonna put it on as I talk about it. I don't know why I started reaching for this. It's two products. It's the Chanel La Beiges. It has a name I can't remember. It's basically a lip balm. I have it in the shade light. It looks like it's red. Basically, you pick the color based on your skin tone. Even with fake tan, this would be light. And you can wear it just like this. It's very hydrating. It feels like a lip balm. I think it is a lip balm. But then just to get it a little more extra, top it with a lip oil. I've been reaching for the Dior lip oil in pink. If I wanna make it look a little more pink, a little less red, you can choose whatever you'd like. But I've been reaching for this constantly and getting so many questions on stories when I share it. So that's what that is. Then I wanna talk about my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month. It's the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I thought it'd be nice if I walked you through the colors that I've been using and that I have on today. So in the crease, I start with Smarty Pants and then sort of flesh it out more with Jet Setter and I bring that Jet Setter shade down into the outer corner and under my lower lash line. Then with my finger, I tap on the shade Rocker all across my lid, highlight with a matte shade or a satin shade, usually Charmer, and then just to add a little dimension in the inner corner, I go in with Funny Girl. So it's not crazy complicated, very, I don't wanna say natural, but very neutral goes with everything, very everyday kind of daytime look. And that's what I've been wearing more often than not during the month of May. Then I wanna talk about my favorite eyebrow combo. I'm always working on some new ways to do my brows. I love the laminated look, but not the extreme. So I think I've toned it down a bit to something a little more wearable. And I start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This by far will hold your brows in place the best. I have very unruly brows. Then once I have them combed into place, I go in with the Milani Weekend Brow. I wear mine in the shade Soft Brown and fill in the uh, mostly the outer corners, a little bit of the inner part as well. And then if I'm feeling very extra and I really want them to not budge, especially on days when I'm filming try-ons and I'm taking clothes on and off and on and off, I go in with this product, which is newest to me. It's from Merit Beauty. And I don't even know what this exactly is called. It's basically their eyebrow gel and I have it in the shade Blonde. And it is definitely pigmented. So if you wanna skip the um, eyebrow pen, feeling a little lazy and you just wanna go through real quickly and fill in those brows, this will do a pretty good job. Then let's talk about how I got this tan. I'm, I'm almost ready to do it again. I'm looking a little faded but I have been pretty glowy the last couple of weeks, and it's these two products. So there are two products because one I use on my face and one I use on the rest of me. On my face, I use, they're both by Loving Tan. On my face, I use the Two Hour Express in the shade Dark, and I have a love-hate relationship with self-tanning. I love how I look. Everything looks better tan. If you can't tone it, tan it, is what I have always said. The problem is it doesn't last very long, especially if you're like me and you use a ton of skincare that has active ingredients like retinoids and chemical exfoliants. So it will fade a lot faster. I probably should be doing this every three days. I usually do this in the evening, sleep in it, and then wash it off in the morning, but it does cure, so to speak, in two hours. So you could just put it on you know, first thing in the morning if you don't have to go anywhere and then just wash your face after a couple hours and move on with your day. So that's on the face. I have used this and I do use this on the body as well, but I really wanted to get dark for me. Everything's relative. My melanin is lazy and there's only so far it will go, but I have been loving the Loving Tan Platinum. It is the darkest, I think, option they make now. And I do that from like under my chin down everywhere. Fantastic stuff. And just because I have a fake tan going does not mean you skip to SPF. And the one I have been loving is from Supergoop. It's the Glow Screen. It is lightly tinted, comes in three shades. I wear the middle shade. I believe it is 
It is not on here. I think it's called Sunrise and it's glowy and it's beautiful. And if you want a no makeup makeup day, this works really well to just give you a little bit extra than what your normal skin looks like. I love this. So that is it for beauty. Let's move on to clothing. Number one has to be the Jason Wu pleated dress that I wore to one of my younger son's graduation ceremonies. That was the commencement ceremony that I wore it to. I love it. It looks like most of the sizes as I'm filming this are out of stock, but it does say instead of out of stock, it says temporarily out of stock, which leads me very much to believe that they are restocking all the sizes. So definitely keep checking. And the price is down to $41 and change, which is fantastic. It was a beautiful dress. I felt so elegant in it, yet not overdressed. You could wear this to so many, many occasions. And it's part of the Rent the Runway pre-loved collection over on Amazon. So I'll put the link to that uh, under the dress link because I have found so many amazing pieces there. They're just exquisite. Now I will say that special shout out to the Spanx Thin Stinks Shapewear. I just feel a little more comfortable wearing something that's smoothing underneath a knit dress. And this one from Spanx is, I believe it's newer. It's brand new to me. You can choose from the sculpt, like as far as how strong you want it, sculpting or smoothing. I went with smoothing and it's really thin and really lightweight. So it'll hold you in without overheating you. Absolutely love it. I do have a discount code for that. So check the description box or the comments. I'll have pinned all the links to the top of the comments as well. My other favorite, even though I haven't had a chance to wear it to a specific occasion yet, is what I'm calling the Kate Middleton dress. I was lucky enough to do a collaboration with Karen Millen. They are a UK brand. I did that over on Instagram if you missed it. And I picked out this dress for the collaboration and oh my goodness, this dress. Now it might be sold out in a lot of sizes because they've been running a sale and everyone is snatching this dress up. It comes in 15 colors. So if you want something that's a little more conservative and more appropriate for a work environment or a more somber occasion, you can go with one of the neutrals but then they also have brights and pastels. I think this would be exquisite for so many occasions. Personally, I see myself wearing this to any kind of daytime function that I might have that's a little more formal. It will probably be something I reach for to attend funerals, God forbid, but those things are inevitable. And I definitely see myself wearing this to one of the Jewish high holiday services, probably more likely for one of the Yom Kippur services because I have it in Navy. It's a little more somber. So absolutely love it. Just a little tip. This is a UK brand, so it runs small. So I would say I am a true size six, four, six, but closer to six. Definitely size up one from your true size when ordering from Karen Millen because they run really small because it's a European brand. Best advice, just use the size charts. That's what I did and it fits perfectly. Number three for clothing, definitely this shirt. This is a gauze shirt from J. Crew Factory. It comes in a bunch of colors. I just thought this bubblegum pink would be really fun for summer. And I sized up to a medium just so that it would be extra roomy and that then I could have the option of wearing it maybe as a swimsuit cover up as well. Just wanted to point out something. I sometimes think it is cooler when it gets hot to wear something long sleeved in a breathable fabric so the sun isn't directly beating down on your skin. It just feels cooler. It gives you a little bit of uh, extra U UPF protection, really. Obviously you should always have sunscreen as well. But I've noticed that people who work outside, especially down here in Texas in the summer, they're wearing a hat, they're wearing long sleeves and they're wearing pants. And it definitely helps with sun protection and not having that direct heat right on your skin. Okay, number four definitely are the scoop linen blend pieces. The two blouses I shared in my recent Walmart try-on, one is just white and the other one is a really fun print. And then the high-waisted pants that go with it, absolutely love them. And I love that it's a linen blend. So it has all the breathable, airy qualities of linen, but because it's a blend, they don't wrinkle nearly as easily as 100% linen does. And then my last clothing favorite is a perennial favorite, but a newer version for me, the White House Black Market mid-rise uh, crop pants. I have so many colors. I've worn them for years, but I finally this year ordered a pair in the curvy fit. So if you have more of an hourglass shape, this is the sizing that you need. It comes in regular, it comes in petite, all kinds of sizing options and inseams. So I am a size four in the curvy fit 
As far as the colors go, I ordered a pair of white and I always size up one. So I'm a size six in the curvy fit if you're getting it in white. Then moving on to accessories, I have two pairs of shoes. I don't wear a lot of different shoes. I tend to gravitate towards two or three styles that I wear throughout the whole season. So when I find a pair that I really like, I need to share them with you. So these are new to me. I was looking for something that would be good for walking around in when we were traveling recently. And I found these, these are from Sam Edelman, obviously. And these are not new, they come out every year. They come in a variety of colors and options as far as this top part goes. I love that it's sort of a hybrid between a sandal and a sneaker. This definitely looks more like a sneaker sole with the rubber bottom and there's a tiny, tiny little bit of a wedge here so it's not a true flat and it's molded to your foot. Here's the thing, this does run big, so size down a half size and then it runs a little wide, but that's okay. This is an actual functional buckle, so just adjust it to be as wide or narrow as you need it to fit each foot. So I love these. And then the other pair I've mentioned before, but I am wearing them so much, I need to mention them again. These are from Amazon. They're wedge espadrilles, but they're a slide-in version, which is fantastic. And I love these clear straps because they go with all the things and they make my legs look longer and thinner. And especially if you're traveling and you don't wanna bring a bunch of different kinds of shoes, this is gonna go with every single outfit because it's clear. And you can get different colored straps and you can get the uh, wedge part in different options as well, but I like the nude option the best. Another Amazon find for an accessory favorite is this woven tote bag. Now there is an original designer brand and I can't remember the name of it. It's hard to pronounce. I know it starts with an N. I know they carry it at like Saks and Neiman Marcus and it's beautiful, but it's a lot of money for what it is especially when I've seen so many great lookalikes for less all over the place. So there's lots of color options. This does fit over your shoulder, it can. I don't know, there's just something about this. I just keep reaching for this over all the designer bags that I recently got. It's easy, I don't have to worry about it getting dinged or dirty or what have you. It does have, it, this version it does come with a pouch, nice zipper pouch, very soft. Obviously none of this is real leather. And it does have a bottom to it, so it's not fully collapsible. There is a little bit of structure to it. I just, I love it. I have mine in apricot. And then two pieces of jewelry I wanna talk about. The first are not these earrings, although aren't these cute? I will have them linked. These are from Kendra Scott. The other earrings I wanna talk about are also from Kendra Scott. Now she is known for this beautiful shape. It's called the L earring but this colorway is new. There are several options, but I love this red and fuchsia blend. It's gonna go with, I could have worn them with this. Pretty much goes with all of the new clothes that I've picked out recently. I'm really into reds and oranges and pinks, especially if you can kind of bring them together. So this is fantastic. Another one they just came out with, same collection, is I think they call this bronzed turquoise. So it's turquoise and orange. Between these two earrings, you can color coordinate with pretty much all the fun summer clothing that is being featured by retailers this time of year. And then the other one, a little bit more sedate, and I rarely take this off. I really only take it off to tan, <laughs> self tan, not outside tan, I don't do that. It's this birthstone necklace from Dean Davidson, and it comes with one stone, and you can add however many you want. And I picked two because both of our, my birthday and my husband's birthday are both in March, and then both my sons are both in June. So I got one for March and one for June. You can, you know, this would make a great graduation gift, a great Mother's Day gift, although Mother's Day has passed, a great birthday gift, you name it. And the chain is adjustable. It has the bead on the back and I just love it. And it goes with all the things. And I just saw that cat go by. She's so sneaky. She will not just come and sit and be on the camera though. Okay. Moving on to lifestyle. So travel was on the brain. We did a little bit of traveling in May and we're actually planning a big vacation, just the two of us in June. I'm very excited. I can't wait to take you along. Um, so new to me of all the things I tried for my Amazon travel video, if you missed it, I'll link it here and I'll put it down in the description box. But this carry-on garment bag, oh my gosh, I love this bag. I went on and on and demonstrated it in the video. So. If you missed that, definitely go watch it. But if you've been looking for a garment bag that easily accommodates women's size clothing, not men's little short things, this is fantastic and it has the luggage sleeve and straps and pockets and all the things, it's outstanding. 
Now, if you're traveling with a dog, like we did recently with Mimi, we've had travel crates before. This one is my favorite by far. It's a lot less expensive than some of the other brands and it came with more features and it just felt a little more sturdy. So it does come in different sizes depending on how big or small your dog is, but I've been really, really pleased with that one. And I will say, if you missed that video on my favorite essentials for dogs, um, I will link that here and down in the description box as well, because we've had dogs our entire marriage, so going on 26 years. I've picked up some tips, and if you're wondering about some things, especially if you have senior dogs or anxious dogs, give that video a look. And since we're on the topic of watching videos, if you've gotten this far and you are still not subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do me the favor of just hitting subscribe. It's free, it's fun, and I put up videos every Sunday and Thursday, and I would love for you to be around to watch them. Okay, moving on. Rest of my lifestyle. This one, far less expensive. This is from the Mainstays brand over at Walmart. I have been searching for years for a lemon scented candle that wasn't too citrusy, that wasn't too sugary sweet. It is this one, it is the sweet sugared lemon candle. It's lemon, lime, and sugar cane. And the minute, within minutes of lighting this, the whole room is scented. I adore this. They don't make it in the wax cube melt, which slightly irritates me. But what I think I'm gonna do is go buy another one of these and just carve it out of the container and use it in my wax melt because this scent, it's so fresh and summery and clean. I could just sit here and sniff, I won't. We have a video to finish, but go check it out. It's definitely in the stores, but I'll link it if you just wanna place an order, like if you're gonna order your regular Walmart delivery, just add it to it. Okay, this is random, but I know a lot of you are gonna start taking family photos when you go on your vacations. You may wanna consider this guy. I did mention this in my travel video as well. It is a clip-on fill light, and it clips onto an iPhone, clips onto a computer, can clip onto just about anything. It also has a place where you can put it onto a tripod if you wanna do that. Lighting isn't always ideal. It's not just for influencers. Normal people take uh, photos too. Not to say that influencers are not normal people. I'm digging myself a hole here. But even if it's just because you have Zoom calls or Skype that you need to make, this is gonna make your life a lot easier. And I love that it's just rechargeable. It holds a charge for a really long time. It has three different color modes. You know, white light, or I should say warm light, cool light, and then a blend of the two. And then you have dimmer switches as well. Handy little guy. These beach towels from the Sofia home line, like Sofia Vergara, they make the jeans and all that that I love at Walmart. They also started making home goods and these beach towels are exquisite. I got the light blue, which is showing sold out on the website when I'm checking, but still check the link because that changes depending on where you are geographically. And if you happen to be in a Walmart, just go check by the pool section, they might just have it. They still have the darker blue and this gorgeous, coral pink shade as well. I picked up two of them. They're supposed to be pool towels, but honestly, or beach towels, but honestly, I've been using them as my bath towels. I think they're so pretty. They're really soft and they're, you know, a little bit thinner than a typical bath towel, but really absorbent and soft. So I love these and I really hope she releases more from this line because I really love, I just, I'm so impressed with them. And I have bought a lot of pool towels over the years. These might be some of the best I've ever bought. Well, that's it for all of my May favorites. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun. Let me know what some standouts have been for you this month, and I'll see you in the next video.